So if you've applied to specialty training in any of the eight specialties that use the specialty recruitment assessment, sometimes known as the multi-specialty recruitment assessment, then you're going to be sitting the exam soon. I just want to tell you how the different specialties use the exam and then also what to expect on the day. So the first thing is that this exam has got two papers, a professional dilemma paper, which is first, that's 110 minutes to answer 58 situational judgment type questions, okay? 29 are ranking questions, where you rank options from best to worst. 29 are selection questions. We select three things usually that go together to address the situation, okay? After that, there's a two minute gap, and then there's a 75 minute clinical problem solving paper. You're gonna answer 97 questions covering a wide range of medical surgical specialties, okay? So now let's look at how different specialties will use the score. So what happens if you've applied to more than one of these specialties, you sit the exam once, and the same score will automatically go into your application via the Oriel system. However, each specialty gives it different weighting. So we'll start with the one that gives it the most weighting, which is general practice. So in GP, the scores from the SRA make up 60% of your overall weight. Plus, if you're in the top 10% in the country, you can skip the selection center and get a direct offer, okay? Now, of that 60%, it's not even in GP, unlike most specialties. 40% is the SJT, 20% is the clinical paper. I.e., the SJT is worth twice as much as the clinical in GP. The other 40% is made up of the stage three assessment, which is three sort of simulated consultations and a written prioritization exercise. The next specialty is neurosurgery. Neurosurgery, the SRA is 40% of your overall rank. The other 60% come from portfolio, interview, and so on. Psychiatry and child and adolescent mental health services, it's one third. The other two thirds comes from interview and portfolio. That's the same proportion for clinical radiology, one third. But also in radiology, because it's a very competitive specialty, they have a fixed number of interview slots. You've got to be in the top 600 or so to get one of those interview slots, and then it's one third of your overall rank. The other two thirds from portfolio and interview. Obstetrics, it's 25%, 75% coming for interview. That's the same for sexual and reproductive health. And finally, ophthalmology, it's 13% of the weighting. Other 87% will come from interview. So that's how different specialties are gonna use it. Now, in terms of the actual exam, how are you gonna prepare? Well, for the clinical paper, really, it's about spending time revising the knowledge covering the curriculum and practicing questions. So good sources for sort of focus reading, Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine, Oxford Handbook of Clinical Specialties, wide range of specialties covered as you can see here. Um, and in terms of practice questions, the eMedica online service has got over 2000 questions covering both papers, including full mock exams for the clinical and the SJT. For the SJT, as well as practicing questions and understanding why the correct answers are correct, you do want to spend some time reading GMC ethical guidance, good medical practice, having a good handle on how to deal with things like confidentiality, capacity, informed consent, uh, safeguarding, things like that, because some of these things will come up in some of the scenarios. Again, on the online service, we've got uh, lots of SJT questions with detailed explanations and a full mock. Right, so how are you going to prepare for the SRA? Well, as well as our online revision, if you'd like some intense focus revision to develop both exam technique, particularly important for the SJT paper, but also to cover high yield clinical topics, get teaching mock, and then high yield, all of the ethical guidance and GMC guidance you need for the SJT, and then a teaching mock with detailed explanations. Our SRA Crammer course is running in London, Manchester, Birmingham, and also a worldwide live stream so you can join in from home. Details will be posted in the link below. Main thing, this is not a pass-fail exam, it's competitively ranked. Every mark makes a difference because the score carries over to the next stage. So, you know, you don't want to just aim to scrape through. You want to get the best score possible here, then combine that with the best score at the interview or selection center stage. So you don't just get a job, you get your first choice job, okay? So I hope that's useful. The earlier you start, the more you put in, the more likely you're going to score really well. So if you haven't already started, make a start today. Thank you very much and all the best with your exams. Thank you.